You know that feeling when your phone vibrates, that little yeah. buzz? Yeah. Okay, now imagine that, but like way more intense, happening thousands of times a minute inside your engine. Right, and unlike your phone, that kind of shaking can actually uh, tear things apart if it's not controlled. It's pretty destructive stuff. Exactly. Welcome to Einstein Motors. This is where we dig into the science and results of automotive tech so you don't have to wade through it all yourself. Mm -hmm. Today we're looking at something often overlooked, but super critical about the harmonic balancer, or maybe more accurately, the torsional vibration damper. That's a better term, yeah. It's not about balancing in the way most people think. Right, it's about controlling vibration, specifically that twisting force in the crankshaft. We'll touch on you know, the different kinds of vibration, unbalanced, axial, and torsional, but the main focus is that twist. And we've got some good info to draw on. There's a piece from Engine Builder magazine and uh, a really interesting YouTube chat with folks from Flu Damper and Paul's High Performance, experts in the field. Absolutely. So our goal here really is just to give you a quick, clear overview. What are these things? Why should you care? especially if you're thinking about modifying your engine. Yeah, what do you need to know? We'll cover the basics of the problem and the different types of dampers you might encounter. But look, this is a deep topic. Oh, definitely. So this is going to be the quick version, maybe uh, five minutes or so. For the full breakdown, all the nitty-gritty details, you'll want to head over to our website later. Okay, so starting point. Why is engine vibration such a big deal anyway? Well, fundamentally, uncontrolled vibration just beats up your engine's insides. Yeah, it causes wear and tear, extra stress on everything. Which leads to, you know, parts failing sooner than they should. And it can even rob you of power. Definitely. Less efficiency, more risk. Okay, so those three types of vibration we mentioned, let's quickly define them. Unbalanced vibration. That's basically like an out-of-balance washing machine load, but with your engine's rotating parts, the crank, rods, pistons. So uneven weight distribution. Exactly. It causes a shake once per revolution. Good engine builders minimize this through precision balancing of all those components. Right. Make sure everything spins smoothly. Yeah. Got it. Then uh, axial vibration. That's the crankshaft trying to move forwards and backwards along its length. Oh, uh, right. The main bearings, and specifically the thrust bearing, are there to keep that movement in check. They limit how much it can slide back and forth. Keeps it located. Okay. Which brings us to the main player for today, torsional vibration. This is the big one for dampers, yeah. It's the actual twisting and untwisting of the crankshaft itself. Twisting? How does that happen? Every time a cylinder fires bang, hmm. it delivers a massive rotational force to that section of the crank. Ah. That force makes the crank twist slightly ahead and then it sort of springs back or rebounds. Mm -hmm. This happens constantly, end to end, especially under load. Wow, okay, so the whole crank is flexing and snapping back constantly. Pretty much, and that's the vibration the harmonic damper is designed to absorb or counteract. So its job is basically to soak up that twisting energy. Exactly, to control or damp that torsional twist. This protects the crankshaft itself, but also things connected to it, like the timing gear, oil pump, valve train, even accessory drives. It's crucial for durability and making the engine run smoothly and efficiently. Okay, makes sense. Like an internal shock absorber specifically for that twisting motion. That's a good way to think about it, yeah. Now, there are different ways to damp this vibration. Let's just briefly touch on the main types you might see. The most common is the elastomeric or rubber type. Right? Yeah, that's what you find on most standard passenger cars. They're uh, relatively inexpensive to make. It's basically a metal hub, an outer metal ring, the inertia ring, and a layer of specifically formulated rubber bonded between them. Bonded rubber, okay. And that rubber is tuned by the factory for the specific vibration frequencies of that stock engine. Works well for what it's designed for. But limitations maybe if you modify the engine. Right. If you start making significantly more torque, that original tuning might not be effective anymore. And, you know, rubber degrades over time. You need to check them for cracks or bulging. Okay. Then you've got some more... Uh performance-oriented options, like tunable ones. Yeah, you see things like O-ring dampers, sometimes used in racing. They use replaceable O-rings for damping and allow some tuning, but those O-rings wear out, need rebuilding. Maintenance involved. What about friction dampers? Dry friction clutch dampers. They use, well, an internal clutch mechanism. You can adjust the damping by tightening the clutch. Again, mostly racing. And they have parts that wear down over time. Right. Another tunable but consumable option. <laughs> and finally, the viscous fluid type, like fluid damper. How do they differ? 
These are quite different. They use a heavy inertia ring spinning freely inside a sealed housing, but with a very thick uh, silicone fluid filling the tiny gap between the ring and the housing. Silicone fluid, okay. When the crank twists, and the housing twists with it, the inertia ring resists that immediate change because of the fluid's viscosity. This difference in speed between the housing and the ring shears the silicone fluid. Shears it? Yeah, basically forces the fluid molecules to slide past each other. That shearing action converts the vibration energy into heat, which then dissipates through the housing. Ah, uh, interesting. So it turns vibration into heat. Essentially, yes. And the key advantage is they work across a very broad range of frequencies and RPMs without needing specific tuning. They just kind of adapt. Plus, they don't really have parts that wear out in the same way, so they tend to be very durable and maintenance-free. That's pretty robust. Okay, so that's a super quick flyby of the different types rubber, O-ring, friction, and viscous fluid, each tackling that crankshaft twist in its own way. And each with its pros and cons depending on the application, budget, and performance level. Absolutely. Now, like we said, this is just scratching the surface. There's a lot more to understand about how these work, expert opinions on when to upgrade, installation tips, common questions. Oh yeah, the difference between balancer and damper, how they handle temperature, high RPM, lots more detail. Exactly. And we've put all of that, the deep dive, onto our website. If you want the full picture, head over to einsteinmotors.com.au. We've got the detail breakdown there. Plus, you'll find our automotive calculators, which might be useful too. And make sure to follow Einstein Motors on social media. We post regular tech insights and updates there as well. Definitely. So managing engine vibration, super important for keeping things running right and lasting longer. For the full story and tools, check out EinsteinMotors.com.au. Thanks for tuning in.